let's take a look at um, Bitcoin and how it dropped below 40,000 uh, today if you have not uh, if you have not um, taken a look at my last video on how Bitcoin um, dropped using perpetual futures chart shown here I'll uh, I'll leave uh, the link up above on the uh, upper right corner uh, and a link in the de video description for you um, that will give you a, another perspective but let's dive into the uh, heat map here uh, also if you have not seen my heat map video on spoofing and where I explain um, buy and sell walls and also spoofing walls I'll list that up here in the upper right hand corner and also in the link description as well so um, here you can see 330 oh by the way this is Thomas and um, if you like this video click the like button subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you dislike this video you can double click on the dislike button or double click on the like button let's dive in 3.30 a.m. PST Pacific Standard Time you can see bit you can see um, here's a spoof wall here trying to lift Bitcoin up um, it didn't do much because Bitcoin kept dropping you can see a few uh, this is a spoof buy wall you can see a few spoof sell walls up here trying to suppress the price down and that is on this chart on the perpetual futures chart that is this is where um, that price line is about I won't go too much uh, into um, the perpetual chart here because I already did that but I want to correlate the two together so a bit, uh, you can see some bubbles here bit, uh, Bitcoin sell offs some you can see some bubbles they're selling selling despite the spoof walls trying to prop them up or some other ones trying to push them down but you can see a continuous pattern it's almost as if there's someone's testing the um, did you see these red bubbles those are sell orders and they grow larger and larger and larger and then you, you know you hit these spoof walls buy walls and they try to push the price up you can see that here but let's just jump ahead and you and you can see a oh actually let's take a look at this big giant buy wall here so when people when you look at this you're wondering is that a, a real buy wall or is that a, a fake one and we'll, we'll find out soon same thing with this one below here and this one is at roughly 40,500 this bigger wall right here is um, at around 40,000 so so th throughout the uh, early morning um, Bitcoin's price has been tested you get you see some spoofing actions and you see some cascading uh, drawdowns here so and you get to around 6 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time the action starts getting stronger more sell pressure starts uh, applying so let's take a look at what happens first let's check out this wall this wall right here at a 40 uh, this buy wall at 40,500 has uh, 314 as the size so will that is that wall real or is it a spoof wall because a spoof wall a buy wall is designed to push price up and as soon as price drops down close to it it disappears but this wall is three uh, it has a size of 314 but let's find out so you can see cascading you see these bigger sell orders the red bubbles again larger and larger and larger as they come down that's just uh, and when you liquidate the longs this is what's happening people who are betting uh, that the price will go up uh, are using leverage and they get liquidated what happens when they get liquidated it creates a cascading effect where their positions are sold off and get liquidated and so it just continues dropping down faster and faster and that's why you can see these orders growing larger and larger so this wall here was 314 I believe 
338 roughly. So let's check out the buy orders and see if they were big enough to swallow that up. So here you have one order here that was uh, about the size. I got to move away from the candle here. Let's enlarge it a little bit. Here you can see this order here was 507. You see that volume right there? 507. That in itself just swallowed up that wall. That wall was real. It just swallowed up all that uh, buy order. And then because now you have supply exceeding demand so 507 is greater than 333 or whatever that number was so now excess supply drops the price some more and you can see in this next little bubble that bubble is smaller it was about 50 size 50 and then it kept dropping and dropping and so you can see the cascading effect there but let's check out this other wall at 40,000 that wall was roughly uh, around 800 in size let's find out what happens Let's zoom, zoom, uh, zoom in a little bit. Oops, that's a little too much. All right, so that this wall right here, back here, it was about size eight hundred. So let's see what these things do. This wall itself is, I mean, this uh, little bubble here. Uh, was roughly a 290 in size and you have a few more here 20 to, uh, that's about 50 and so it hit this wall this wall stood there and absorbed some of those sell orders and then let's see what happens and it went back up a little bit see price went back up because it absorbed it and so now you have more um, demand than supply so price went up slightly and then it went down to here it would drop back down. You can see these sell orders again. And here's a big one, 164. And the wall absorbed that one too. So the price went back up. And then naturally it goes back down. Wall absorbs it again. You get some more tiny uh, sell orders here getting filled. And then you get this big giant uh, sell order of 305, 306. And that crushed the wall. The wall at that time was left with only 364 in size right here it's 364 and this this um sell order was 306 uh, and then you get a couple more here this was at 50 uh almost 60 59 and you get some little ones here about 14 a big one here at 100 so all these sell orders crush that wall fill all the buy orders crushed it went down further to this next wall and this next wall was at the time uh, at the size of uh, let's see you can add 66 to 192 so that's roughly about like 250 uh, and some change and you get these sell orders coming down wall absorbed it you can see the colors changed here because it's um, it's not as uh, big anymore it's, la it's smaller because some, uh, it absorbs some of these sell orders. And so the sell orders, now you have excess demand and less supply, so the price goes up. And see, the price goes up. And it keeps going up because you have, um, and you can see more little tiny buy orders here. These, the big ones are, uh, are probably uh, smart money or whales. The little ones are probably retail. And it keeps uh, so it hangs above this wall and then it comes back down and test again and here's the wall that wall at the time was about 126 in size this sell order was 227 in size crushed it that wall absorbed all the sell order so uh, the uh, price dropped down and this next uh, support level came in at three uh, 39,650 uh, and was a pretty good support price bounced back up and you can see there was this little orders and there's some tiny ones and they, the price rode above that line and you have some more sell orders here trying to press it down further and that the wall that wall is starting to thin out now see that 
now some of that probably is spoof, so they didn't need to be there anymore because they have you have this other one down here at 395 39,500 and then you get and then suddenly you have this uh new wall the new cell wall up here trying to push the price down so you have price support down here you have pressure from up above price continues horizontal it's like a uh, herding sheep you got this wall you got this wall the sheep's follow through in between so you go through here, you go through here, then you get some more sell-off. <laughs> so you get some more sell-off with these big bubbles here. They're not too big. They're t size about 23, 18. Um, sell-off, try to test this wall. Wall was too big, bounce back up. Keeps going and going. And you see that wall disappeared right there. The top sell wall disappeared. That most likely was a spoof wall. And you have these other walls remaining still, the buy walls remaining still, providing support. A big sell order here of about 86. I've got, I got absorbed. Wall stood still. Price bounced up. Same thing here. Bounced up. You notice how this one was 70, uh, 72 in size on the um, sell order. And then that wall was approximately 147. Absorbed some of that. The wall thinned out, size got smaller, uh, more demand than supply, price went up. And that's that's pretty much what happened. Uh, eventually, price did go uh, significantly up, and we'll see that up here. Price went significantly up as um, buy orders went in to drive the price up. And you can see some, some of these spoof sell walls here trying to prevent it from going up, but it just went through it. And so they just reposition here, here, and here as uh, these big orders. Uh, not too big, medium size. Uh, 28, 20, 31. So these big orders drove the price up. And here's some bigger orders at 81. And this one at, uh, what is that one? 70, 76. So it kept driving the price up. These big orders drove the price up. Usually if you, if you sell it, you got to buy it back, right? Um, if you're manipulating the market. Um, so buy, buy them back, possibly, not always. Um, price drops back down. You can see there's not a lot of walls here. There's a spoof wall here trying to drive the price back up. It bounced up, hit this spoof wall here, drove it down. And you can see it re kept playing the same game. Here, here's a spoof wall trying to press it down. Price comes up. Let's see what happened to that wall. That wall was size 106 right here, and the uh, that little that buy order was a size uh, 22, 22 size 22. So that was a spoof wall. Some of it got absorbed by this buy order, and then it disappeared because it didn't want to uh, actually be there um, because it's a spoof wall. So you can see it disappear on this side, and prices. Um, fluctuate for the rest of the time here it went down here's a spoof wall coming in try to prop it up and that's pretty much what happened how bitcoin got down to um less than forty thousand uh on the heat map uh, but and a lot of it was driven by derivatives um and make sure you check out that video so you can understand what happened there with um open interest and also funding rate thanks for joining and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.